Hi, Scott Evans, the Iconic Storyteller here. I'm going to talk a little bit here about emotional impact. What kind of emotional impact do you want to have? What kind of words do you have to use? What kind of emphasis and where do you have to put that emphasis in order to have the emotional impact you want to have? So, for instance, my life was immortalized in the movies The Sandlot and Radio Flyer. And a lot of the stories in those, uh, in those movies were, were really true. Now, I look at them as fun, kind of, you know, whimsical kid, dorky kid in the neighborhood sort of stories. But my brother looked at them as traumatic events that he wanted to change into a more heroic sort of outcome by reinventing the past. So he looked at those dark, I looked at them light. He looked at them kind of sad, I looked at them kind of funny. Maybe it's just a function of me getting through it all, but the point I'm making is that it all depends on how you decide to tell your story, which is based on the emotional impact you want to elicit from the audience. And again, the audience takes their emotional cues from you. So keep that in mind when you're deciding what kind of emotional impact you want to have.